British charities are launching a special appeal today to help people affected by the big earthquakes in Turkey and Syria on Monday. The Disaster Recovery Committee appeal will bring together 14 different charities to raise money to help those in need. So far, Britain has already sent help to people who've been left without homes or food because of the quake. Specialist teams, including calling the rescue dog right here, are also on their way to help people who may still be trapped under rubble. Well, BBC reporter Tom Batesman is in Turkey, where rescues are happening. Well, this city is called Adana, and it's in southern Turkey. And what you can see behind me is a collapsed building. And there are lots of these all over this region and also in the north of Syria, another country that is south of here. And what happened was a very big earthquake that struck this region late on Sunday night. It was the middle of the night, early into Monday morning. So people were asleep in their beds. And many people, when the buildings shook, it was a very powerful earthquake, uh, ran, tried to get out. Some people were just still in their pajamas, had to get out with nothing on their feet in some cases. So people have been left uh, often without clothes. And also it's really hard for people in some cases to find enough food to eat. So what's happening now is a big rescue operation to try and find more of the people who are missing, search for the survivors. It's also had a really big impact on children here. The president of Turkey has announced that there'll be two weeks off school for all Turkish school children. That's while all this goes on and also because many teachers actually are helping out with the search and rescue operations like this. So it's all having a very big impact. We were just chatting to some kids in a playground, some young children uh, who had actually been given new toys by the government here because they'd had to move out of their own home. So it's affecting everybody here and the hope now is that they can rescue more people and some of those we've seen you know, boys and girls as young as four and five in the last day or two being taken out to safety after the earthquake. Thanks for that, Tom. Well, to find out more about what's being done to help in Turkey and Syria, head over to the Nujan website. And if you feel you want to help, there's some tips on how you could get involved there as well. Now, don't forget, if you are upset by this story or by anything you hear in the news, there's loads of tips and advice there as well.